humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Bata! Folks, I am challenging the online world of doubles ranked battles using my quirky team that is somewhat viable thanks to the most recent rule set here in Pokemon Sword and Shield, in which the top 20 most used Pokemon are banned. Oh, I love this rule set. Let's see what we're up against today. Durant, Porygon Z, Primarina, Clefairy, Setascorch, and Riolu. Fascinating team. Riolu tends to run Prankster, so just in case you use it, I'm gonna go ahead and bring Zoroark because Dark type Pokemon shut down Prankster users, especially Zoroark. As for which Pokemon should go along, Zoroark, probably Porygon Z or Frostlass, but Porygon Z seems like the better choice. And then in the back, we'll do Lapras and Dragology. Zoroark being disguised as Dragology is just my go to option if my opponents don't know any better. So it's very fascinating to see my opponent not only have a Porygon Z, which is what I'm using, but also a Riolu. I think bringing Lapras is a good idea to shut down Senescorch and potentially Primarina, actually, because I have Water Absorb. I just, the, the Durant worries me is all. But we'll go ahead and do it. I don't really think there's much of a reason to bring Frostlass or All Creamy, especially since they'll both be weak to Durant, so let's just go! Let's go, FIFO! Please tell me you're bringing Riolu. I don't get to fight Riolu that often. It's a, it's a bit of a niche prankster user, but it can still be very useful, and I think that's why he has it. Oh, we're going to the grass arena. I haven't been here in a while. Santa Scorch and Riolu! Alright! So let's see, are you gonna Gigantamax that Santa Scorch to use that one move that deals damage to me at the end of every turn? Very well. Makes me glad that I started off with the Pokemon that I did. Okay, so, Riolu is gonna be some sort of support Pokemon. I just know it. It's most likely holding Eviolite, so I'm gonna trick an item onto it. I just have to decide if Zoroark's gonna trick it or if Porygon Z's gonna trick it. I think Zoroark would be the smarter play. Ah, uh, well, it, Prankster gives it priority regardless. I could trick a Choice Scarf onto it, but let's just trick them both. Let's give, mm, okay, okay, okay. So let's trick the Senna Scorch with the Choice Band, and let's trick the Riolu with the Choice Scarf. Though tricking a Choice Band on a Senna Scorch isn't that great either. Okay, trick the Choice Band on Riolu, trick the Choice Scarf onto Senna Scorch. Okay, because I'm running a physical Zoroark and Senna Scorch is a physical attacker. Coaching? I don't think I've seen that move before. Oh no. I just locked him into using a stat boosting move for the rest of the battle, which would normally be fine, but it boosts the stats of his opponent. <laughs> Okay, well, you were holding a life orb, so I took your attack away. I gave you speed, but you... Oh, goodness. Okay. Focus Ash. Oh, you weren't even holding... You weren't even holding... An evil light. Oh, it hurts so much! Ah, oh, well, Porygon Z is going to go down this next turn. Got to hope for the best, then. We got to go for Knock Off onto Senna Scorch. You're going to be faster than me now, but I can knock off that Choice Scarf with ease. And then we got to... Oh, hope for the best. You can't take them both down right now. I doubt you have a spread move that'll that'll do that. So, if you take out Zoroark right now, well, you can't take out Zoroark right now, I just got a Focus Sash on me. So, you're either going to get paralyzed if you don't attack Porygon Z, or if you do attack Porygon Z, I'm just going to deal some damage to you. I imagine you're going after Porygon Z, which is fine. Zoroark gets two turns to live. Riolu's stuck using coaching, which means Senna Scorch is going to hit like a truck. He could, oh, he's, well, he's not Dynamaxing this turn, so I don't know what his plan is. Okay, so we've got the knockoff. I was somehow still faster, thank goodness. Choice Scarf is off. Thunder Wave connects! Very good! Alright, well now you're definitely not faster. If I was faster than you while you're holding a Choice Scarf, you're definitely going to be slower than me when you're <laughs> paralyzed. And the paralysis comes into play! Alright, this is working out, this is working out. So, I def I don't want to knock off Riolu's Choice Band. I want him to be locked into that one move. But, well let me see something real quickly. Who's faster without a Choice Item? Zoroark or Porygon Z? So, Porygon Z's speed... Right now is 156, Zoroark's 156. Okay, so Zoroark's faster. Good to know. I guess I should have known that from the get-go, right? So in that case, I'll... I want Zoroark to attack Santa Scorch, And then, I guess I can just home in on Santa Scorch, take them both take them both down. Or have them both hone in, take Santa Scorch out. I want Riolu to stay alive, because I know what move it's going to be using for the rest of the battle. Alright. However, if I don't take out Santa Scorch this turn, this is going to hurt. He's choosing not to Dynamax it, which I'm very thankful for. And thankfully, while well, Zoroark is using physical attacks, so this won't deal too much, Porygon Z will be using special attacks and can hopefully take this thing out. So try attack, all right, with adaptability that should deal a ton of damage. We got Eevees and special attack, and it's enough. Okay, Santa Scorch is down. Very good, very good, very good. But neither of us have Dynamaxed yet. Oh, I was holding. That's right, I tricked a Life Orb onto me, so I dealt more damage, which is good, but I take recoil damage. 
but I should still be faster than anything else on his team unless he has a Pokemon with a Choice Scarf. Durant. It could be holding a Choice Item, though I kind of doubt it. If it has Earthquake, it has a Spread move, but if it doesn't, it can't take up both my Pokemon this turn. So let's go for Knock Off, and then let's go for Thunder Wave. I'm, I know I'm going to be faster, I just need that chance of Paralysis kick coming into play and ruining you for a turn. And if you do take out Porygon Z this turn, it allows some of my Pokemon in the back to definitely be faster than you. So, let's hope for the best. He's thinking. Yeah, he, he's got a lot of physical attackers on his team, I'm just now realizing. That's why you pair it with Riolu, using coaching. I've never seen that move before. That's crazy. Alright, so he's Dynamaxing the Durant, understood. I guess this makes sense. Durant already hits like a truck, and then you Dynamax it, and then you make it hit like a... I don't know, what's, what's bigger than a truck? An airplane? Make it hit like an airplane. Alright, coaching, yep. This is unfortunate. But because he Dynamax, he definitely doesn't have a spread move. So, Porygon Z's probably going down this turn. Max Quick, so it is faster. Darn it. Oh, but he went after Dragology! Because he thinks it's a Dragology, but it's not! It's a Zoroark! And you gave me that Focus Sash! So, thank you very much. I'm so glad that that really was holding a Focus Sash and not an Eviolite, because that actually just saved me right there. It literally saved me. So now I get to do this. Yes, your special defense is boosted. Sucks for me. But if I take out your Durant, your Riolu won't really be able to attack for the rest of the battle. So that did a decent amount. You were holding Assault Vest, so you were just flat out faster. That's just a fast Durant if it's faster than Zoroark and Porygon Z. Jesus. Okay, well it's paralyzed now. Alright. I guess same type of ordeal, right? So we use... <sighs> yeah, both my Pokemon are going to go down this turn. Well, no. Only one Pokemon is going to go down this turn. So we got to use this to my advantage. So we got to use Electro Web because that's the only move I have that won't be resisted by Durant and it'll lower your speed even further. Okay. Yep. Thank goodness I had that Focus Sash. It doesn't matter how many times you boost your attack because I was going to survive with 1 HP regardless. There we go. Not much. And then Electro Web. Okay. Ooh, we did a decent chunk to the Riolu. Alright. Slow you down. And then thankfully, I still have Lapras in the back. She should be able to take a hit. Oh! I didn't even... I already forgot about the life orb again, darn it! So you, me tricking the focus ash onto myself saved me, but then me tricking the life orb onto me ruined me. Darn it! Ah! All right, but I haven't Dynamaxed yet, and you can still only target one Pokemon at a time because Riolu's not attacking. I'm a little surprised you haven't switched it out just yet, but I guess you really like those those stat boosts. Yeah, you being at plus two attack, and it's a Dynamaxed Durant of all things is troublesome. Here's my prediction. I, I have to go for the Gigantamax. I think it's smart to go for... <sighs> okay, because I, I think he's going to go after Dragology and take it out right here. But... Do I want to Do I want to Dynamax Dragology? Would Dynamaxing even matter? I think you would still one-shot it. I'm going to be faster. He's definitely slower after he's paralyzed and hit with Electro Web. Uh, no, let's, let's set up the wall. It'll negate his attack boosts. With any luck, he'll be paralyzed this turn. So let's do that. And then we go for... Surf, hit both of you, heal up Lapras. In case you do after Lapras. Although, I think I'm still going to be faster, so it might not matter. I don't know. Okay. We're setting this up. Hopefully Lapras is faster. It should be. I set up my wall. If you go after Lapras, I should survive. I don't think Durant can learn any Electric-type attacks. You might have a Rock-type attack. But with this wall set up, me being Gigantamax and me having EVs in defense, even though you're at plus two attack, I should be able to survive a hit like that. So let's see what your plan is. Okay, so coaching. Oh, you're going to be at plus three attack. Doi. Didn't even think about that. I'm falling apart here. Coach Riolu is weird. But, I mean, I like it, but I hate it. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see how much this, tip, this, this does. Okay, not much. Wasn't expecting it to do much. The main thing was to set up the wall. This next turn, I'll use Max Geyser. And then we'll have my water moves be stronger. Okay, so there's the wall. There's the surf. Okay, water absorb doesn't matter. Dragology is actually faster. This actually probably still won't do too much. Yeah, okay. You did have an electric move! I didn't know! I didn't know you could learn an electric move! Oh, good girl, Lapras! Woo! Uh, plus three attack, Dynamaxed Durant. And you still only did half to my Lapras after I set up the wall. It's a good thing I set up the wall. Now I get the weakness policy activation. Which means this next turn, now that you're no longer Dynamaxed, I should definitely be able to take you out. What electric move can you learn? Probably Thunderfang? Ah! 
Darn it, why am I thinking of that now? I didn't even think about Okay, whatever. I'm glad you activated my weakness policy, and now I can use Surf and definitely heal up my Lapras, because I know I'm going to be faster. And because I'll have the Max Geyser in effect, if this attack doesn't take out Durant, then the Surf definitely will, because it'll be boosted by the rain. All right, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So you're boosting your Durant stats. No worries. This is partially why I like playing against Prankster users, because it means that I can lock them into one move for the rest of the battle, but sometimes it goes against me, because they can get stat boosting moves that benefit their allies. But there we go! Got the rain in effect. Got a critical hit when I didn't even need it, but I'll take it. Durant is down. Thank goodness. The Surf should KO Riolu at this point. Heal up my Lapras. Very good, very good, very good. Alright, it ain't much, but it's helpful. Every little bit counts. Alright. Riolu's down. That leaves one Pokemon remaining, and he's already Dynamaxed. I already forgot what else he had. Oh, Pre-Marina, maybe. If it's Pre-Marina, it'll, it'll be tricky. But I, because uh, I just put the rain in effect, but he can't use water moves on Lapras, and Dragology would resist them. He could use a Fairy-type move and deal neutral damage. Let's see. It is Pre-Marina. Okay. It's the only other Pokemon I remember him having. Okay, well, we gotta go for Max Lightning. And then we gotta go for Thunderbolt. I mean, the Electric Terrain is already set up by him, so I'll get so much power from this. Weakness Policy, Electric Terrain, Max Lightning! There we go! Good girl, Lapras! Woo! Good games to my opponent. That was an interesting team. I don't get to fight Riolu that often, but I, I knew it was going to use Prankster. I just didn't know what move it was going to use in combination with that ability. What a fascinating battle. And folks, prior to this battle, I had a 50-50 win-loss score, but it's nice to know that I can go out on a win. Okay, I kind of... I kind of wish I could see his team, but he didn't allow that option. So I'm going to back out for now. Let's improve my rank. There we go! I know this is not a fantastic score, but given the weird rule set and the even weirder team that I'm using, I'll take this this win-loss ratio. 13 wins with this team. And some of those losses were close, so I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. I know it's not a great rank, but I'll, I'll take it. It means that my team has some viability to it. Alright, folks. Well, that wraps up this episode of Pokemon Ta, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you want to challenge me, there's a form you can fill out in the description that will allow you to do so. Otherwise, I hope to see you on future videos. Bye-bye, humans! <gasps> Whoosh! Hey, thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you want to show your support, one of the best things you can do is leave a comment down below. So if you have anything nice you want to say about the video, or if you have any questions, I'll try to respond to whatever I can at my earliest convenience. Either way, your support means a lot and I really appreciate it. I hope to see you all in the future. Bye-bye!